Hello, another day, another set of prices, and we've got loads of stuff this week, so it's going to take a little while to get through it, but we're going to get cracking. So we have plenty of new releases this week, so Warcry, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Aeronautical Imperialis, Black Library, and we'll have a little look at Warhammer Plus as well, but we will get cracking with Warcry. And we've got a little bit of myth busting to do today because the compendium was rumoured to be really expensive. I think 50 quid. Uh, it was, it was rumoured to be delayed for months and months, but it obviously isn't because that is on this week's list. But we will start with the Centaurian Marshal. So he is priced at £26. I was a little bit worried that it was going to be a lot more than that. But yeah, £26 for that. Then we've got the Warcry Chaos Legionnaires, which I think look absolutely terrific. So they're going to be £35. And then finally, we've got the Compendium itself, which is going to be £27.50. Now, there was rumours on this that it was going to be you know, delayed till November and that it was going to be £50. Now, those rumours, I don't know where the November rumour came from. Um, it was flatly wrong. And I think a lot of people started circulating that rumour when the Warhammer community released all the PDFs of the warbands and that kind of thing a few weeks ago. Now, the rumour for it being 50 quid was quite simply someone reading the trade price list incorrectly a few weeks ago. Now, the compendium itself wasn't even on the trade price list a few weeks ago. That was when the Heart of Gerb box trade price came out. Um, but that rumour came about because there was something on there. I think it was like a, a display box or something like that that was £50. And people said, hey, that must be the compendium, which it clearly wasn't. So £27.50. Okay, so that leads us on to Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So we've got a couple of releases here. We'll get the big releases out of the way first and then we'll go back to the bit that I'm really looking forward to this week. Now the big release for Age of Sigmar is the Arcane Cataclysm box. So this pits some uh, some Disciples of Zinch versus the uh, Lumineff Realm Lords. There's a couple of new models in there as well. That is priced at £135. Now I have to say that I've, I'm have i pretty much done with these boxes. Um, it's cool that they, you know... We get new models and that kind of thing, but this is large. This is you know almost exclusively things that we already have, and it's just a way to get one hundred and thirty-five pounds off of us, so we can get our hands on two new models. And um, but that's the price for that. We've got some new terrain sets that are coming out. So we have got the uh, Age of Sigmar Cron Spine Incarnate of Gur. That's thirty-five pounds. The Cleansing Aquileth. That's forty-five pounds. And the Mega Droth Remains, which will be really cool for Warcry, that is £35. Now, if you are going to get all of these, consider going back and getting the Thondian Realmscape box, which is £135, I believe, um, or £130, but it is much better value and you get a lot more terrain in it. And then we've got two characters which were previously only available in one of the bigger box sets. So this is the Skaven Deathmaster, that's £21. And the Sylvaneth Lady of Vines, which is £30. Okay, now we cover the things that I'm really looking forward to. Um, the one I'm looking forward to most will do next, but currently this is the Black Library release for the Arcanauts Oath. That's £18, but the model that goes with it, which is Drekki Flint, that is £21. And then finally, what I'm most looking forward to from Age of Sigmar this week We've got the Hollow King hardback book. Now, I'm really looking forward to this. It's £18 again. I'm going to be doing a full review of the audiobook of that. Um, it looks really, really cool. But to go with that, we have got Kado... Sorry, I'm going to butcher this name. Kado Eschair, the Hollow King. And that model's £21 as well. But that is what I'm really looking forward to this week. Now, next up, we've got Aeronautica Imperialis. I don't have any pricing on this, which tells me that it's all just going straight to Forge World. So this won't be a standard release. It will only come out in Forge World. So what have we got? Quite a lot of stuff, really. We've got the Aeronautica Imperialis rulebook, the Horus Heresy version. We've got the Vanaheim area of engagement. We've got the Ares gunship from the uh, Legio Custodies. We've got the Legionnaires Astartes aircraft cards and we've got the Divisio Aeronautica aircraft cards 
So lots of stuff there, but again, no pricing because it all appears to be from Forge World. And that neatly leads us into Necromunda, which in a similar vein, no pricing. So obviously Forge World exclusive as well. So we've got the Delicue Spiker that is coming out. And we've got the long awaited Corpse Grinder weapon set, which I have to say looks pretty meaty. Okay, moving into Black Library before we finish up with Warhammer Plus. We've got no pricing here, but we've got some interesting releases. First of all, there's a limited run of 2,500 copies of Rogal Dawn, the Emperor's Crusader. Then we've got the Black Library audio release of Blackstone Fortress Ascension. So this has been available for quite some time, um, but obviously the audio version is only now becoming available. Now, I'm usually a fan of everything Blackstone Fortress, but I thought the original audio book was not very good. Um, I didn't like the voice acting on it, and yeah, generally, I, I just didn't think it was that great. So I'll be staying away from this one. Lastly, from Black Library, we have got good news for our French and German-speaking people. So we have Gazgol, the Prophet of War. This is now available in French and German. Um, audio books, and I believe softbacks as well. I'm sorry, no pricing. Then we've got The Throne of Light coming out in French. Then we have Luther, First of the Fallen in German. And finally, Soul Slayer, also in German. So good news for you lot. And finally this week, we're going to talk about Warhammer Plus. So I don't normally cover Warhammer Plus stuff in this, but very, very interesting for me at least. I'm mostly looking forward to the playthrough of Kill Team Into the Dark. So this has got the uh, Imperial Navy breaches up against the Crute um, in that new setting. So I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing that and see how that plays out this week. Also, this week's Law Masters is, is to do with the Crute as well, which I'm looking forward to. It's one of those kind of subjects where I know a little bit. I know that they are, you know, they they are paired with the Tau, um, but I don't know that much, and I've not really done much digging into it myself so i'm looking forward to law masters this week and by the way i know very well that this information is better in sorry this information is available in possibly better format elsewhere on youtube but i like law masters it, it's pretty cool and then finally for the warhammer plus we have got white dwarf issues 340 and 341 so yeah they're coming out this week as well but amazingly the models for the second year of Warhammer Plus have been announced, and that is Azrak the Annihilator and Mibilor Darkfang. Now, these both look absolutely brilliant to me. Obviously, Azrak is a complete beast, um, full of nostalgia from anyone who's been into the hobby for you know longer than sort of 20 years or so. Absolutely tremendous stuff. Now, what's most interesting to me is that these are going to be available in a month's time. For anyone who buys Warhammer Plus on an annual basis, you'll be able to get your hold of these in a month's time, uh, rather than having to wait for a full year for your subscription to be to be over. So yeah, they're, they're the main highlight for me. Um, also, if you are a subscriber to Warhammer Plus and you choose one of these models as your gift um, and they send it out to you, you also... As a subscriber, get the option to buy the other one as well. So that's really cool. The final thing for this week is that they'll be doing a hangout and paint session on the Centaurian Marshall this week on the Warhammer Community um, Twitch page. Uh, so I will be sure to check out that as well. I will be getting the Centaurian Marshall. So yeah, that might help me with my paint schemes. But yeah, that's it really for this week. And there really was a lot to get through. Lots of new releases, lots of information. Um, yeah pretty good week for warhammer now if you want to support the channel the best way for you to do that is to order from element games look at the link in the description if you order from there it won't cost you a penny more but it will massively help this channel i will be back later this week hopefully with some warcry stuff uh, and i've got a few bigger projects that i'm working on which will be coming to fruition very soon i'm actually on holiday this week as well so things might be slow but there will be lots and lots of new stuff coming up, especially next week. So thank you, as usual, for watching, guys. Much appreciated. I hope you have found this video helpful. Um, have a great week, and I'll see you later.